Hello, Geek Intelligence viewers. It's me, Carmen, from Fancy Show Tech, and today I'm recording the first of many HTML how to episodes. Anyways, to start, let me just say a few things you'll need before we get right into it. You'll need either a text editor, like what I'm using, Text Wrangler. Really good software. This is good software, it's free. It doesn't mess with the text or anything. I like how it doesn't mess with the format or save as rich text or something. You can save it in any format you want. and Or you could get something like Coda, more advanced. I don't have the paid version, so it kind of expired. I want to get Coda, but Text Wrangler is good as well. And you can use that in combination with a web browser like Chrome to test your HTML pages. So, anyways, what I strive to do with this series is like... By the end of this series, hopefully you'll be coding CSS like this. For this is some for my upcoming website. Some CSS I made, coded by myself. Hopefully you'll have CSS like this by the end of our series. Uh, anyway, so let's get right into it. To start off with an HTML page, you'll need an HTML tag at the top. We call them tags, kind of. Just type this, HTML, with these little things surrounding it. Kind of encapsulators. Now let's type a head. This is stuff that won't be displayed on the actual page. It's just the header. Of course, not displayed. Any of the code put in on here is not put to be put on the actual page. Now next, let's put a title tag. A title tag. This defines the title at the top of the page, like when you're in Google Chrome or something. Uh, so uh, yeah, when you're in Google Chrome or something. Basically, you'll see a title at the top of the HTML page. That's what this is. And inside the title tag, we can type something we want the title of the page to. Let's say it's learning HTML. Geektelligence.com. You can make it anything you want on your own page. And then we end it with an ending title tag. So forward slash. Yep, that's a forward slash. You can see for yourself. Title. Now I've made a basic title tag. Of course, we're just starting out with basic HTML. As the series goes on, it'll get more progressive. <laughs> so, apologize, this looks like very basic. Because this is meant to be basic HTML. Not even CSS included or anything. Slash head. Put an ending header tag. And then begin the body. The body's where all the text and images and everything is. that makes up the site. So, let's... Start with body. We make a paragraph, so the P tag. Inside this tag, we'll put welcome to the Geek Intelligence Learning HTML series. Below, you'll find videos on learning HTML. Enjoy. Okay, now we've typed a paragraph, so let's end that with, with these tags, a forward slash p. Of course, you can see there's these little encapsulators, so we have to type it like that. I can't remember what the comma and the period, they're above those keys. You gotta press shift while you're pressing them. Anyways, we got p with the paragraph uh, tag. Welcome to Geek Intelligence Learning HTML series. Below, you'll find videos on learning HTML. Enjoy. So, of course, we've got this basic HTML document. Now, of course, if this is real HTML, now, let me show you something else that's basic, a line break. So, type br forward slash, space forward slash, and then, of course, the next encapsulator. So, watch this. This is basically the beginning of the tag, br space forward slash, and then this end, ending, and then this thing ends the tag. And now, of course, this will make two line breaks. And of course, we haven't defined the size of the font. The browser will go to its defaults. And then we could have videos coming soon. And now let's end the body. So type these encapsulators, the first encapsulator, for forward slash body, and then the second one. And let's end the HTML, of course. Now, this is just a basic HTML page, as you can see. Let's uh, save it onto uh, the desktop. S sorry, uh, Text Wrangler, save as, of course. 
So let's save this as geek intelligence html html. No, I need to put .html. Don't put .htm or anything. HTML. It's what most my well, actually, it doesn't really matter whether you put it, but HTML looks better, kind of, if you put .html. I don't know, just, to me, it's weird. Okay, let's go to desktop. Uh, let's go see the document we just saved, geektelligencehtml.html. Let's open it with, we can open it with a number of things. I have, like, a lot of browsers installed, as you can see. Let's open it with Firefox. Any modern browser should be able to read this document and with ease. Let's just show you what we've created today. We just created a simple HTML sheet. Welcome to the Geek Intelligence Learning HTML series. Well, you'll find videos on learning HTML. And then here's the line breaks. And here's videos coming soon. That's just a basic HTML page. In the future, we'll get into how to add CSS and styles and such. Stay tuned for episode 2, where we'll start getting into more of it. And thanks for tuning in. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And also check me out on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash super PC, about dot me forward slash super PC, and of course on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash fancy show tech. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Geek Intelligence as well on YouTube for more of these HTML videos. Goodbye.